Hello and welcome. My name's David and in this video we're going to create a pencil sketch effect. Right, let's make a start. First thing we need to do is duplicate the background layer. I'm going to use Command J or Control J. Now when we duplicate the layer it's always a good idea to rename them as well. That way you know exactly what's on each layer. Double click in where it says layer 1. We're going to call this what it's about to become which is B slash W short for black and white. Now to convert this to black and white, there is a very useful shortcut. Press, hold down, command or control. Now press and hold down, shift. Now press U. And there it is, you have now desaturated the image and it makes a really nice black and white, doesn't it? We're now going to duplicate our black and white layer. Command J, control J. Okay, let's bring our cursor over the text, double click in calling it what this is about to become, which is a negative. Now to convert this to a negative, all we need to do is invert the layer. How do we do that? Press, hold down, command or control. Now press the letter I, and there it is. There is our inverted layer, our negative look. We're now gonna head up to the blend modes. We're gonna go down to color dodge and everything disappears. To bring it back, we're gonna head up to filter, we're going to come down to Blur. We're going to come across to Gaussian Blur. My favourite though has got to be this one, Motion Blur. Right, let's zoom in, bringing my cursor to the centre. I'm going to press and hold down Command or Control. Gives me the Zoom tool. In we go, just pressing the space bar, moving it to the side. Now the reason I like this so much is we've got the angle of lighting at 66 degrees, the distance on 30. And if we change the angle of lighting, for example, let's swing it round in this direction. As soon as I release it, look at the way we can change the image. We can change the distance. You can bring through a lot more. You can bring through a lot less. Entirely up to you. So it's well worth exploring this and seeing what works for your image. Now I'm just going to leave this highlighted. I'm going to type back in 66. Coming down to distance. Just clicking in the box. That's and I've highlighted it. And I'm going to put in 30. That's what we had, like that effect. So I'm going to click OK, but there's a problem. We can't do anything else with this layer because if I switch it off, don't forget it is still a negative. So now what we're going to do is we are going to combine these layers into one new layer. And to do that, we're going to put in a new empty layer to start off with. Press, hold down, Alt or Option. Holding down Alt or Option, head up to the Layer menu and go down to Merge Visible. When you do that, there it is. It has now been combined. All these layers have now been combined, that's what I meant to say, into this one new layer. Right, Cursor over Layer 1, double click in, has now highlighted it, calling it what it is, which is Sketch. Now the nose is looking just a little bit on the faint side, so I want to bring through a bit more detail. We're going to put in a new empty layer. Now I'm going to change the blend mode of this empty layer from normal. We're going to go down to soft lights. Coming across to the toolbox, picking up the paintbrush. Make sure you've got the default colours of black and white. Press D on the keyboard if you've got any other colours. Now head down to tool options. Got a 600 pixel soft edge brush and 100% opacity. A little bit big. Left hand square bracket will make it smaller. Let's come to the nose. I'm going to go over that a bit dark. I'm going to use Command Z, Control Z to undo it. We're going to drop down the opacity. Let's try 70%. I'm going to press 7 on the keyboard. Notice the way the opacity has gone straight to 70%. Just coming over that again. That looks better. Right, coming up to the eyebrow. For the eyebrow, I just want a little bit more. So I'm going to press 5 on the keyboard. That takes me to 50%. And let's go over this eyebrow. That looks better. Coming across to the layer, just switching it off and on. Looking better like that. Now there's some areas which are just a bit too dark for my liking. For example, these hairs here, of this area in particular. So I'm going to press X, which will put white as a foreground color. I'm going to press 0, which will put the opacity back to 100%. I'm going to take the size of the brush up using the right-hand square bracket. Let's come over this area here and just fade that in. 
just fade that in. Don't forget if it's a little bit too much, just drop down the opacity. But yeah, I like the way that's working. I think we will leave the rest as is, perhaps a little bit there as well. Right, zooming out, a vignette. The reason I'd like to add a vignette to this is I've got a, yeah, this headscarf here is just a little bit too much detail in it for my liking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up the marquee tool, come down with the tool options. I'm gonna select the elliptical marquee tool. I've got the new selection, which is this first little icon. I've got the feather set to zero, but we're gonna take this up. Let's go to about a hundred pixels. This will depend on the file size that you are using. Let's fold this down out of the way, bringing my cursor to this sort of area here, clicking down, dragging it out. Now, because I've got the new selection, I could bring my cursor to the center. We can click down, we can move it to the side. Right, let's head up to an adjustment layer. And the adjustment layer I'm going to use for this is hue saturation. I'm going to go straight to the lightness slider. I'm going to move this to the right hand side and she has now disappeared. Clicking on the little cross. We need to invert the mask exactly the same way that we did with the negative. That shortcut again, command or control. So press and hold down, command or control. Now press the letter I and there it is. We have just inverted the mask and she's back. Right. Command T, Control T is the transform tool. We can just pull it out a little bit more into this area. Just taking a look at the top, just moving it over as well, just back a bit like this. Perhaps taking it up a little bit from the bottom. There will do nicely, cursor inside the frame. Double click into apply. Now you can of course crop it down to fit the vignette, but I'm gonna leave it like this because there's a few other little bits and pieces that I want to show you later. Right, spacebar, command or control, gives me the zoom tool. So let's zoom into this area. What if you want to make it a little bit darker with the sketch? Well, we're gonna head up to another adjustment layer and I'm gonna come down to levels. There's quite a gap in our histogram. Now, if I click on this slider, we're gonna move the black, the dark area in. In other words, we're gonna tell it, this is where we want the dark to begin. That looks better already, just switching it off and on. Coming to the center slider, if I move this to the right hand side, we introduce more of the darker pixels. If I move it to the left hand side, we introduce more of the lighter pixels. So you can make it lighter or we can make it darker. I'm gonna take it to this sort of area here. 0 0.77 looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Let's just close this down out of the way. Right, bringing my cursor over the image and I think I better press H just to give me back the hand tool. Now remember I said there was more. First of all though, let's just reverse out because I've got the hand tool. Just need to press Alt or Option to zoom out. Let's switch off levels. Let's switch off the vignette. Let's come down to our dodge and burn, which I didn't rename. So double clicking and calling it D and B, short for dodge and burn. Coming down to sketch, we're gonna switch this off as well. Now, don't forget, we've still got our black and white, which looks really good. But what if we come down and switch our black and white off? There was something about this which gave me an idea. So clicking on our black and white layer, this is now the live layer. Coming up to the opacity slider, just blending this down. And I really like this effect. Let's zoom in. Just need to press command or control because I've got the hand tool. A very nice pastel effect there in, what have we got, 85%. That looks really good. You can come down even further. You can come down, you can bring through a lot more color. I'm gonna go back up, I think round about this region here. Let's just drop it down a touch there. What have we got? We have got, oh, 60%. I like that. I think that really does work well. Just love the color to the hair, the eyes, uh, the lips, and the headscarf all seem to work with this. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Alter option. can try it with a vignette, but I think I will leave this switched off. And if we switch this off, I really like this effect. This is our black and white layer. We've dropped down the opacity, 60%. So we're blending the black and white with our original. Just love those muted colors. Save it in layers. 
you've then got all of the options available to you. You've got the pastel, you've got the sketch effect, you've got the, uh, there it is, dodge and burn, vignette. There it is with the levels. The choice is yours. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have, and don't forget to subscribe. Plenty more videos to come. Click that little bell icon. That way you'll receive a notification every time a new video is posted. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.